Hi, my name is Anthony Pichal and I'm the founder of Strikeout Cancer Fund. Uh, this initiative started back when I was 15 years old, in uh, memory of my mom, Mary Malolo Pichella, who passed away at the age of uh, 51 years old from stage 4 lung cancer. Uh, it was honestly a huge shock to, to my entire family and I just because my mom never smoked. She ended up passing on January 6th of 2011, so in about a little, little over three months I put together my first bowling event. Uh, it was a huge success. We raised that year about $20,000 alone. The way it started, he had promised his mom that he wanted to do something for her. And he thought about a bolotan and inviting all the family and some friends so that she would be there and make that day different. But what happened during the course that uh, my wife passed away before. Uh, so now, talking about seven years later, we put together seven bowlathons and now our third gala event. Um, in the past, I was working with St. Mary's Hospital Foundation, uh, but now it's been over two years that I've been working with uh, Make-A-Wish Quebec. So at each event, we make a child's wish come true. We just need to raise $10,000 for the wish to come true. Um, this year, our child is named Sophia. She's eight, and unfortunately, she's battling the fight against leukemia. Uh, we wanted to reveal that, Sophia, you will be going to Thailand oh. with your entire family to uh, see elephants. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you all for, once again, coming here tonight and honestly, um, for just making us hold this third annual Strike Out Cancer Gala. Uh, as some of you may know, two years ago I partnered up with Make-A-Wish uh, in order to one day become a wish grantor, which is exactly what me and Solana are. My very first wish child, Kira, who wasn't actually able to make it tonight, has recently conquered her battle with cancer after just one year. So this alone just leaves so much room for hope, and uh, we have another special guest actually here tonight. Uh, just to reintroduce her, uh, it's our wish child from last year's gala, uh, Chakimaya. She's uh, our third wish child, and honestly, her and her mom have taught me to continue striving even in the darkest of times. Um, I've been working with Anthony since the beginning, so <laughs> I've been behind the scenes. Um, it's a lot of organization, and Anthony takes a lot of his time to work out the best details for the wish child. Uh, it's been a great success every year and we're hoping that it continues to do so and grow. Uh, if you want us to define Anthony in one word, uh, caring. He's one of the biggest givers. He's extremely generous. He always puts others before himself and you really see that. And you wonder how someone could be like that. And he just, he loves it. He doesn't do it for, to get something in return. I lost my mom in 2011, but honestly, till this day, uh, I thank her for giving me the strength to continue helping all these families. Uh, everything I am and I strive to be, I owe it to her. I find it very inspirational how my brother set this foundation 
basically out of nothing. He put his mind into something that he wanted to do, something for my mom, and uh, he made it happen regardless of his age. I'm very proud of my brother for doing that and not focusing only on himself and and how and his life, but also putting others first and how he could help other families that's going through the same thing as we did with my mom. I know that my $10,000 at each event won't find the cure to cancer, but my $10,000 will change a child's life. Sophia, when you go to Sophia, 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 when you go to Thailand, you see the, you see the elephants. You you already seen the Montreal version of an elephant. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Sophia? Take the picture, yeah. Good.